All right, what's up, Safe Moon Army? It's Safe Moon Mark here with an introduction to my Safe Moon projection calculator. I recently uploaded this website that allows you guys to mess with my equations that I posted in my last few videos. And it's not that it's necessarily hard to use, but there's a lot of potential here that I wanted to highlight for everybody. Here's the current version of the website, if you haven't seen it already. The main page has some basic stats about Safe Moon's market data, such as a seven day average of burns and reflections as well as the values, ROI, and annual percentage yield your bag has seen in the last 24 hours. There's also a chat forum, which I'll check daily. We can communicate together as a community, and you guys can let me know your thoughts and feelings about SafeMoon, the projects we're working on, as well as any future projects you guys would want me to start up. I'm currently expanding the team to include more developers, animators, and editors, and although I haven't had much luck finding any help yet, Hopefully soon we can really get the ball rolling and start pumping out some crazy safe moon use cases to really help the devs and the community as much as possible. So back to the calculator. This first section has us enter in our safe moon balance. I'll enter in 1 billion to start. So if we have 1 billion safe moon, we would have made 82 cents in USD or 200,000 safe moon over the last 24 hours. Nice. What if the volume was higher or lower? Or what if the price was higher or lower? Let's find out. If we scroll down, we can see we can edit the average price and volume of SafeMoon and see how that would affect our reflections. Also, pay attention to these buttons that switch between thousands, millions, and billions. They're there so you don't have to type in so many zeros all the time. If the volume was up today, and around some of our previous highs of 150 million, we would have accrued $7.50 USD, or 1.8 million SafeMoon. Let's see what happens if we change the price. Let's say the price was higher. Let's say at 00001. We see that our reflection in USD stays the same. As I mentioned in my first video, your reflections in USD has nothing to do with the price, only the volume. But what happened to our safe moon reflections? What was once 1.8 million is now 750,000, even with the same volume. Well, let's cut our price to be about half of what it is right now, or 000002. We can see that again our USD stays the same, but our reflections go through the roof. What we can draw here is that the lower the price is, the more reflections you gain, and the higher the price is, the less reflections you gain. This applies exponentially if we scroll down and change the number of days in the future we are projecting to. You can really see how lower prices compound here. I hope you can see that the longer the price stays low, the better off we are in the future. Okay, now if we put $1 billion in for volume and see what happens in two years, we get a pretty wacky result. This says we will have over 8.5 trillion safe moon by this time. This is not accurate. What this tells us is if we have $1 billion of volume for two years, the current price is too low to sustain it. This is where I first deduced my previous price floor target of 00009 as the lowest possible price we need in order to maintain even a few years of $1 billion of volume. If the price is averaged around 00009, you will gain roughly half of your total earnings back in two years with $1 billion in average 24-hour volume. That's 18x from here and still an insane APY. If you want to see projections of the burn wallet, remember that burnt tokens are nothing more than the burn wallet's reflections. So just simply plug in how many safe moon the burn wallet currently has into our safe moon balance field. At the time of making this video, the burn wallet has 417 trillion tokens. So you plug that in and see what spits out. I encourage all of you to mess around with these numbers and the rest of the app. I'll be adding much more content over the next few weeks, including a whale watching section, user profiles, and whatever else you guys want. Website development is not my strength, per se, as a software engineer. If you guys haven't guessed by now, my brain works almost entirely off numbers, not art. But you guys have encouraged me to break out of my comfort zone and try new things. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy SafeMoon or math content, and follow my Twitter at MarkyMark underscore 4200 to be enrolled in my weekly SafeMoon giveaways. Thanks, guys. Liquidity coming soon. SafeMoon Mark out.